Good morning, Care Fitness friends. We are back today with another workout for you. Bella is going to be your lead instructor today, so she is going to tell us everything to do. Allergy season. Um, we are working total body, so we're going to hit legs, upper body, and core today. So you'll have to look to these two beautiful ladies for all of your core exercises, as I will be sitting that phase out. But we are trying to load ourselves a little bit heavier today. So we've got 15s and 10s as our weight, uh, two of them. So how the format's gonna work today is it's gonna be really simple, starting with 20 reps of a leg exercise, 15 reps of an upper body exercise, and then 10 reps of a core exercise. So our, we've got five rounds of that, or five different sets, and we're gonna try to move at a pretty good pace and try to get through two rounds of each three exercise set. So equipment, you might want a mat, something to lay on. Obviously your dumbbells or your resistance of choice. Um, if you have a resistance band, that's gonna work perfectly fine for most of the exercises as well. You might have a little bit more time and transition to get into position, but you should be totally fine. Um, we're gonna get sweaty, we're gonna have fun, our heart rate's gonna go up. Let's do it. Then we have tricep kickbacks, 
with our palms neutral grip again, facing into each other, and then we're going flat on our back for toe touches. For your toe touches, you are gonna want some resistance. So if you have a resistance band, you should loop it around the back of your shoulders and reach up towards those toes. If you've got free weights like us, let's hold on to one or two of them. It's only 10 reps, so you can really challenge your core. So here we go, single leg RDL, guys. Focus entirely on hinging at your hip, keeping that upper body stiff. Nice tight core to keep our back flat. Really loading that workload. <laughs> loading our workload. <laughs> loading the work into our glutes and hamstrings here. It's pretty normal to feel more balanced on one side versus the other. Remember that single leg RDLs is a balance-based exercise. Woo. So speed is not the concern here. Form and technique are the concern. Don't rush these. If you feel like you're getting off balance, you're probably rushing. All right, so tricep kickback, guys, 15 of them. Remember that we really want to focus on pushing all the way through, trying to get those elbows straight just for a second, and pulling them back in with control. Try not to throw the weights back, and then let them fall back forward. Use your triceps. Same posture as that bent over row, so your core needs to be nice and tight. You guys are going down to the ground. You have toe touches, so legs are straight up. Remember, it's only 10 reps, so you can go heavier. All right, so we are gonna go one more time through that. So we're standing back up. We're starting on that single leg RDL. So if at any point you were like, oh, I wasn't sure how much weight to use, go ahead and add a little bit more weight if you're not feeling tired. Remember that we're doing two rounds of everything with a nice 30 second break for a little water, a little exercise explanation for the upcoming round. So we want to work nice and fast for two rounds. And we have a nice balance today where hopefully you're not over exhausting one muscle group versus trying to go this fast and every exercise being for your legs, which we have done to you before. <laughs> Many a time. This whole week, guys, is all about total body workouts. So we're really focusing on a well balanced workout by well rounded week of workouts here. Each one incorporating a little bit of everything. all in that nice, sweet 20 to 30 minute workout time slot. So if you're not feeling your triceps, maybe you're not controlling that weight, try to slow down your reps a little bit. Ensure that you can push all the way back and come to that stopped position. Down to the floor for your last set of toe touches. If they were easy last time, maybe hold more weight. <laughs> you get it, my best? Bella's just a great workout partner. <laughs> She's the best. Hi. Oh, kisses. So cute. Okay, so that's two rounds, guys. We've got three more rounds, or three more sets of two rounds, all right? Maybe you have a little hip mobility issue, 
Adjusting that toe turnout might help you get a little bit deeper. But remember that we don't want to overload with weight, making our range of motion too short. Now we know Jane always finishes before us. Cranked those out. Last one. So wide bent over row, palms facing back towards you, trying to pull so that you're almost at 90 degrees at those elbows. Tight core, remember bent over. Our core is what's holding us in this posture. One day when I'm not pregnant, I'm going to try to squat as fast as Jane. <laughs> So pay attention to that front knee. I know I talk about our knees a lot. 
But if your knee's moving around, you're lacking the stability through that range of motion, which is, should be occurring at your hips. You really gotta think about those glutes. Think about anchoring yourself through the ground. Whoops, did an extra one. So much faster when you only have to do 10. <laughs> In this reverse lunge, think about really using that front leg to guide the whole movement. So you're sitting into that glute, you're pulling yourself out of that hip. We're going to tricep extensions. We've got 15 of these guys. Right towards your pockets is another analogy. 
But remember, it's a row, so that's all scapular retraction. So we are pinching our shoulder blades. Down to the ground, guys. V-sit tuck. So this time, as opposed to last round, you are bringing your knees into that tucked position. So we're adding a little bit of resistance to make it just a little bit harder since we shortened our levers in our, uh, in our upper and lower body by no longer keeping it straight. You might find this is much easier for you and you might find that the weight can help. Jane's doing an exceptional job of keeping that weight right at her chest, which I'll talk about next time. <laughs> The closer you keep that weight to your chest, the harder it's going to be because it doesn't help pull you up. But back to the top, last round, narrow squats. So whatever you've got left, guys, let's leave it all on the table right now. It's your last round. No more legs after these 20. Really power through, keep that good firm foot plant into the ground, rooting yourself through your midfoot, firing those glutes, hamstrings, quads. All right, bent over row on your hand. Palms should be facing forward towards us. All that scapular retraction, guys. Core tight, pinch your shoulder blades.